Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and in this video I'll tell you what is a memory dex card, why people do memory dex card, and why you should give it a try. So come on, let's get started. I decided to make this video about memory decks cards and what they are and why because a reviewer watched one of my videos and just asked the question of like I'm not quite sure you know what it is so I decided to kind of dive deep into it and come up with all different possibilities of why you would want to do this and why it's popular and who started it <laughs> all that good stuff all right so just hang in there enjoy this video and um let's get started all righty so a few years ago there's something called the atc card which is our artist trading card and the premise behind the artist trading card was it's a miniature piece of art and the artist trading card is two and a half inches by three and a half and the reason i'm giving you this little history also, just in case you're interested in making them too, but I think is it was the artist trading card that started the memory dex card. So I'm going to show you the difference between the two. Because I remember when I started craft crafting, there was the artist trading card, and then there were swaps for them. So, you know, when we had our scrapbook store, people would make... So artist trading card is this size. Two and a half by three and a half inch. So it's a little tiny thing and people would, you know, embellish on it, use um, watercolor paper and paint and use mixed media pastes and all this stuff, stick gears on it and, you know, die cuts and everything. So it was this little blank canvas and then you would trade them off with friends or stack them up on your thing. So now, a few years after that, Heidi Swap came in with the idea and Heidi Swap is a designer and she came in with the idea of the memory decks. Now a memory decks is, this is using the AliExpress memory decks base die, but it's about, you know, it's um, four by three and a quarter. That's the standard for a memory decks card. So it's four inches wide, three and a quarter inches high. And here is the co comparison. So it's like a bigger version of an ATC. As a matter of fact, if you have old AT ATC cards, you can stick it here on a memory dex and put it on your memory dex holder. Now, what is the point of a memory dex card? Little pieces of art, memory keeping. You want to display your memories easily as opposed to having it in a scrapbook where it's closed and it's this huge 12 by 12 and you have to, you know, take it out, open it. This is something, if you display them, you have them right there in front of you. You can flip through it. You can always, because of these two prongs, you always have the ability to adjust it. So if you have, let's say, about 10 of them, you can easily slide one to the front, slide one to the back. Da, 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 da. Um, if you wanted to do a series, like a December daily, you could make 25 of these. Um, put all the, you know, put all the embellishment and fun on the front. Like, let's say we had this. Pop it on the front. <laughs> this is from my box, Sizzix box, but I'm just looking at what I have in front of me. Pop this, this little doodad here on the front. Put a big number one, and on the back, maybe put a photograph or write something. So it's a way of doing memory keeping and journaling in a compact size, ease of movement. So now I'm going to tell you the other uses of how, why Heidi Swap created this. Now, this is not something that has not existed before. Memory Dex is actually a Rolodex card. Um, back in the day, <laughs> I'm not tell you my age, but back in the day, <laughs> when, when they had, you know, offices with the big metal staplers, they had also the Rolodex. And on the Rolodex, you'd put either people's business card or, you know, company information. And you would flip through your little Rolodex and pop it up. Heidi Swap came up with the idea of turning the Rolodex into something and called it a memory dex for memory keeping. Now she made this a few years ago. Then it sort of kind of, you know, it took off a little bit but it didn't go crazy take off. 
Then the folks who do Bible journaling discovered it. And now it's a trend there. So what you do is you would um, maybe pop some scripture on the front or do, you know, a verse on the front and then on the back, write your prayers and whatever the, the class was about, the, the Bible journaling class. If you can draw, draw things on the front. So now it's picked up back in popularity. How does AliExpress come into this? All right, when um, Heidi Swap created hers, and I don't have her die, but her die were more like, like this, just a base, a base, and I think she has like two sets of dies, and I'll pop the pictures right here, right now. And I'll pop links below if you can find it. Um, a lot of times with the dies, they'll be on sale and then next thing they're sold out in a second. This now is her, and you can see I didn't even open it. There she is, Heidi Swap. And this now is her punch. So if you wanted to take a sheet of paper, plain sheet of paper cut at four by three and a quarter, you use the punch. See, and she gave you little guides here to mark it, to center it, and you just punch All it. Right, you have to step away for a moment and go get a sheet of cardstock. <laughs> You would think I'd have a ton of cardstock here, but I moved it upstairs. I just moved it back in. Oy. All right, so let's cut a strip down. So let's go three and a quarter. And this is a Tim Holtz guillotine trimmer, which I do like. Three and a quarter by four. And I like how on a standard sheet of letter size paper, you can get a whole bunch of cards from it too. So, see? So now, we have the card base. Hello. Haven't opened it. And how did I get to this, this place? There's a friend of mine, and um, she was like, oh, let's do a swap. And we were gonna do themes, like, you know, we're gonna do a Valentine. Um, uh, gosh, what was it? It was supposed to be from last year into this year. So I think it was supposed to be Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Valentine. Notice how I said Valentine, then COVID. <laughs> then we ended up not doing the swap. So I had gotten this for that purpose. So here you can see, see those two little gold lines right there? Yes. So these are the gold lines and you pop it in line it up with those edges right there and punch it down and there you have your little memory decks card and then you decorate it as you wish now you guys know that i have you know decorated it like this just recently i did this but these are using dies from aliexpress so let me go back to heidi swap first so you're gonna take your memory decks card and now I also had bought this, which is her memory decks holder. And you pop on your memory decks card like so. Now, right now it's staying up. But once you embellish it, it, it was a swinging like this, swinging to the bottom. Her new thing is, and I'll link it below as well. She has two little stoppers. Alrighty, so like I was saying, Heidi Swap came out with two little stoppers. Had to lift up the camera so you could see more of the memory decks memory decks holder and with this little stopper what it does is prevent this from happening see all my memory decks cards just went down to the bottom the stopper comes here and holds in place and what it what it will do is hold your your um, memory decks cards facing up so if you have this at the desk you could just put the stopper here and then you would see this first card and you could flip like this and the stopper would hold. And of course, with the good thing with a memory dex is that you're getting both sides. So you're not just getting, you know, a party in the front, you can have a party in the back. And you could have, if you wanted, you could do it a two way. What do I mean by that? Design here and design here and it reads like this, you know keep it facing down, keep this up, and they continue. Anything, anything. This this is another blank canvas, like how I find slim lines to be a blank canvas, just a bigger canvas. This one is holding because of the foam. <laughs> That's 
what that was. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Foam works to hold it in place. See how it rolls like the old time Rolodex? That's the point of the memory decks. Now this can hold a lot of memory keeping. Small little memory keeping. You can do swap swaps with friends. You can pop daily motivations, you know, um, positive sayings for yourself. Every day you, you put, you know, remember to breathe and then on the back, some sort of journaling or recipes, anything. Anything. Mixed media, too. Cut this out of watercolor paper and then bring out your gesso and all your, all your goodies and layer it up. And that's what I have done with the ones that I have from AliExpress. Of course, I tell you, this one is still my favorite. This simple one because of all the layers and what it comes with. But look at the variety that you can come with, that, that you can create using a memory dex card. And then you would just pop them all on. Now let's say, for example, you don't have a lot, like how I don't have a lot. And your memory decks is spinning like this, which is, you know, not cute. I will eventually get the stopper. I have it in my cart <laughs> on scrapbook.com, I think. But I'll link, I'll link it below. And um, you want to organize it a different way. So in my research, I saw, which I'm going to show you the picture now. Heidi Swap also has a memory dex box. And I saw this one. I'm going to link, link where I saw it. And you can then store it this way. Just flat this way. So you can just flip through it like a file. You know, this type of deal. And then I got to thinking more about it. Like, you know, why couldn't I, you know, make my own? Because I've seen people make them. Now, some people will take a small little box and put straws in it. But, you know, this type of thing with the movement and, and using a straw, I, I don't think is, is going to be durable. So I looked at what I did have. This was from a uh, crop last year. I think I bought this when AC Moore was open. This box measures about seven by four and a quarter. So, you know, you've seen these little boxes all different sizes and, and styles at Michael's. Perfect for dropping your, okay, if you don't have the side. So let's go a more simple size. Drop them in this way. So you can drop them in. And then you will sit there and go like this, right? Flip it through. But we don't have the little, the little um, poles for it to be on. So then... I looked at what I did have, and I have a dowel. This is a quarter inch dowel. I got this, you can get this at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, yes, Joann's too. And they have a little woodworking section type of thing. That's where you can get the dowel. If you buy this long, quarter inch, because you have to have it be able to fit through, through there. Um, I used a pair of Fiskers, which these are like my Fisker scissors, but the one that's the more heavy duty. This is heavy duty, but not the super heavy duty. But it, it's a heavy duty scissor and you can just cut it in half. Or, you know, you have somebody who has, who can, you know, your husband or something, have them cut it in half. But then I was thinking even more and then I came up with this. This is the cheapest way I think you could actually do it. If you want to start, but you're just not sure, you know, do you want to really do this? This comes from, um, it's a little bin. I use it to store like my small dies or small stamps. And this comes from Target, $2. Nice, sturdy plastic. And then this I found at the Dollar Tree. So let me open it up and let's make a memory deck. So if you're on a tight budget and you don't want to do the whole Heidi swap system and you don't want to invest up to $40, $50 on this type of thing, you don't have to. And then you pop these in there. So I could either, oh, I may have to, oh, I may have to just take off a little bit. Let me see. No. Okay. I had some other dowels that I had cut, but you could sand it down. So you pop the dowels in there like so, right? 
this is from the this one that I had cut in half. And then you take your memory dex card and you pop it on there like so. And then there you have a little memory dex holder. There I go. There I go. So this little box works. If you don't want to be able to slide like this, take out the dolls. You don't need them. You can just store a bunch in here. See, look at that. Ugh. You can just store them like this because this box is small enough. It's only six inches long. So I can pop a bunch in here and then catalog through them. You know, that doesn't bother me. This one is wide because of here. Just take a pair of scissors and I would clip it. This can work. As long as you stay in the constraints of your four inches, you'll be fine. See how, see how you can just, oh, Thanksgiving is coming. Let me put the Thanksgiving one in the front. Right after that, oh, Christmas. And then you go on and on and then you can write notes. So it's a form of memory keeping. That's too big. And um, what else did I wanna show you? All right, so that's the point of the memory decks. And I hope I answered your question and, you know, maybe made you want to try it. So now you're thinking, well, what do I do with this little small thing? And I don't have a bunch of stuff. All right, here's a paper pack that I bought from Tuesday morning for $6.99. Whole entire paper pack. And Tuesday morning still, thank goodness, has a crafting section and has paper packs. <laughs> so this is a Simple Stories paper pack. And cute, right? So let me find, because this is a good use. Using the, doing the memory decks is also a good way to use your um, journaling cards. Um, or people like to call them cutouts. So, for example, I could cut this right here and pop it. See, it fits. Cut this out. I don't want to cut it because it's, it's a four by six and I plan to use this. I plan to use this for a Disney, princess Disney thing. Oh, which I haven't gotten yet. I still haven't got my Disney Disney um, planner die yet. Even the frog, look there, right there. And then pop it on. See how it goes into four inches wide? Leave a little sparkle wherever you go. So let's, let's use this one. Okay. I'm going to rough cut it first with my scissors and then come back in with the trimmer. All right. Tuesday morning, really, really good on this type of stuff. It included everything. Ephemera, chipboard, Chipboard stickers. Okay, three and a quarter. So let's come down to three and a quarter. All right, three and a quarter. This was my straight side. This is my wonky side. Four inches wide. So now I'm going to cut it shorter because I want it to be on the card. So let's go into eighth of an inch off on each to get it down to three and three quarter. Let's take off a little bit more off the bottom here. And make it three inches. There we go. And then you pop it up right here on your memory decks card. Now, right here, we have a little problem, right? So, Take my punch. Second time using it in front of you guys. I would line it up here like so. Maybe go up a little bit because I'm compensating for the bottom. Like that. See? That's why I didn't go all the way down. If I had gone... Did this pop out? Oh, it has a little thing on the back. That's why it was jamming. If I went all the way down, this would have been all the way down here. So what I want is, I actually want it to be more matted, like that. That's why I kinda went up. Cute, right? 
And so I could put, leave a little sparkle wherever you go. Flip it over, photograph, maybe even just put another pattern paper on it. Now this one here, I did this as a demonstration of this die for you guys, but you know, you would have to kind of trim this off. It depends on how, how much you are using it, what, you're, what vessel you're using, vessel, what vessel you're using it in. <laughs> if you want to put it in a box like so, or if you want to put it on the memory decks holder there. And um, now, let's go into AliExpress. But before that, let's go into using not only the Tuesday morning paper packs, but this is also great for all your six by six because of the size. So you can find lots of, you can make a whole series of memory decks cards just using great six by six pattern paper. Now on sale at Michael's, this, this Halloween one, if you find it, it's cute. So why AliExpress for memory decks? These are all Becky Katz memory decks dies. I do have other brands, but these I had just done a whole series of videos for and was using them. So I had them at the ready because it is not just a plain memory decks shape. It's more specialized in terms of it being a truck, a pot. This one is plain, but layered up. And then it comes with all these little doodads. So of course you can still get the Heidi Swap one or mix both or get the punch, get the holder, the spinner, memory deck spinner or her, or her memory decks box. But when you want it to be more decorative and you want to go further with shapes and you want to have it, you know, like, like this little purse or the wallet or the film strip. AliExpress has you covered in terms of that. And these dies were designed by Nicole Silhouette. So these are not copies of any stores, any um, US stores. Just AliExpress realized that people like memory decks cards and people have a demand for, um, and crafters worldwide have a demand for, you know, more innovation in their memory decks cards. So instead of it just being like this, which is still fine, you can do this, write recipes on the back. You get all these great bracketed shapes. Even this one, another bracketed shape. This one is this. So that's, that's another reason why. This one is this. So you see the difference? Plain, let me, let me keep it on. Plain and layered up. But then, where's, where's my favorite? But my favorite is the most plain one from AliExpress, this one because of all of the mileage I can get out of it. So I hope that helped. If you have any questions though, please ask me below. And um, oh, this little beauty here. Scrapbook.com has now released an exclusive Heidi Swap Memory Deck Spinner in a beautiful blush pink color. And that is available now. They do have it either individual, so just a spinner, in a bundle. I'll list it below so you can find it easily. And with that, you can, you know, get to the white one. I'm not sure if they have this one anymore. But you can definitely get that excuse, exclusive pink. And if I had known they were going to come out with pink, I wouldn't, wouldn't have gotten this. I would have waited for the pink. But that is something that just released now. And they are selling out. But I will link it below. And like I said, it's a scrapbook.com exclusive. So you won't find it at other sellers. What you will find at other sellers is this, um, this spinner in white, which was actually the most difficult color to find. I got this one from Frank Garcia Studios. He is the designer for Prima, Prima Marketing Papers, uh, or the black. The black is the most, um, is the easiest to find, but I just didn't like the black color. I, I wanted it to be lighter. You know, I want to see it. And of course, if I had known there was going to be pink, I would have done pink. And yes, I will put links for the little stoppers. 
So I just wanted to show you guys that there is a new color out and it's available right now, just released. Some of the bundles are sold out and the bundles will include her dies, her Heidi Swap dies, and also in, including her punch. So if you just wanna get maybe just a punch and the spinner, that would be great. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoy your weekend and um, have some fun with some memory decks cards. Create lasting memories all in this space of four by three and a quarter inches. Alrighty, my friends, stay crafty until the next video. Bye for now.